I wanted some new side chairs for my office, so I picked up this. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda. I don't usually do furniture reviews outside, but these boxes, actually this one and this one right here, just came. I actually ordered these from Walmart and they got delivered quickly. And I thought I would unbox them here instead of taking the whole box inside. So what we have here are a pair of matching chairs. These are sofa stool sets. And I really like these because they have this little ottoman. So you can still have your feet propped up, make yourself relaxed, but it won't take up a lot of space. So let's get these things unboxed inside check them out all right so just open up this box here i just want to show you what we get first of all it looks like we do get some instructions here you have to put the legs on the cushions on all that standard stuff but i wanted to show you how it came because these come in a lot of different materials and colors and i wanted something that was a little old school something that looked a little luxurious but obviously wasn't super expensive and these chairs were not expensive these are a faux leather there's actually nothing about it that i would really think that this is real leather in fact it's really shiny, kind of reminds me of like a nice pair of shoes, but it does have a little bit of like spotted coloring on it, kind of a light brown, darker brown. So it kind of has a little bit of that look and some of that crackle finish. So it's got just that old school traditional look to it. You can see we have a back cushion. Again, just very, very shiny, kind of like what you would expect after leather gets worn in quite a bit here. So got a pillow there and here is the top of the ottoman. Actually, the legs will need to go on there too. It's not that big. In fact, it's semi-circle here. So I think you would put the flat edge away from you so that you have kind of that widest area to support your heels. All right, and then here is the chair itself. It is a barrel style chair. So something that you would see in waiting rooms a lot. It doesn't take up a lot of space. Generally, I find these kind of comfortable. Obviously the back does not recline. That's why one of the reasons that the pillow here actually had a lot of value to me because I know that sometimes these can have you sitting up pretty vertical, which isn't super comfortable, especially if you're sitting in them for a longer period of time. So something like this can give you support on that lumbar, allow you to have a little bit more of a back reclining angle. And then here in this box, I'm assuming we have all the legs and everything that we need to assemble this. So the nice thing is I can take these in piecemeal here without breaking my back and get these set up. And we will do that now and see what it looks like and how it feels. Okay, looking in the box of accessories here, I wanna show you that you get two different lengths of legs. So you have long legs and you have short legs, kind of like me. And the long legs are gonna go on the chair. The short legs are gonna go on the ottoman and they have a little post so they just screw in. However, you are going to wanna put one of these washers here first before you screw it in. And then you're gonna put one of these little felt tabs on the bottom so that you don't scuff up your floor. So they should just be pretty easy to install, just like this little felt tab on the bottom. We'll do that there. We'll do it on the chair portion itself. I think that's pretty much it. All right, got it all set up here. I've actually been using it a little while. And before we get the other one set up and put right next to it, I thought I would give you some of my thoughts and experiences using this. First of all, it's not that wide. I think it's 28 inches wide. So it's perfect for smaller spaces, entryways, hallways, side chairs, those types of things. In fact, you can see my carpet here isn't that wide, but I'll be able to put another one next to it. So that'll put a pair of chairs where I need them, but not necessarily need them frequently. Now, the other thing I will say is that the material here is pretty slippery. You kind of notice that when you sit on it, you kind of want to slide down. It kind of makes it like a lounge chair. Pillow wants to fall over. The other thing I will say is that's nice is that there is Velcro on the underside here. So when you put this down here, it doesn't want to come out. So it's in there securely. This pillow is a big, big help. Like I said, because you're sitting pretty vertical, sometimes it's not the most comfortable type of chair, especially because of how small the footprint is. But because of that pillow, it actually feels pretty comfortable. It feels like you're laying back and the ottoman here is really nice. So if I actually sit down on it and then push this ottoman up here where my feet would be, put this up here just like that, that is pretty sweet. I mean, this is pretty comfortable. Like I said, the back of the chair isn't that high. So it's not like you're gonna lean back and just kind of fall asleep in this chair. I mean, certainly you could, but it's really meant to watch a little TV, read a book, kind of sit and lounge. Now, I have seen these types of chairs where the ottoman tucks in underneath the chair. This is not one of them, but it's small enough that I could put it off to the side here, out of the way. Even in one of the pictures, they kind of had it as a side table to the chair. So if I put it like that, I could actually put my drinks or something like that. 
to me, what I'm actually gonna do here is just leave it right in front of the chair for the most part because it still doesn't take up a lot of space and then when I need it, I can just kind of kick it out. But I actually like it. It looks pretty classy. It's kind of got an old smoking jacket type of vibe to it. You know, these little silver buttons on the front here. It kind of gives it a little bit of that old fashioned country club look, which I kind of dig. I wanted something with a little bit of color in this room. I already have some brown trim, so it matches that. I didn't want to go gray and just kind of match the gray and have everything look too sterile. So now when I need to watch something or read something like my book, Rated M for Manure, which is available on Amazon, link in the description, I can just sit down and enjoy some passages from this. And you don't need this chair to enjoy this book either. You can read it anywhere, most appropriately when you're on the can. But if you want to sit down in style, you want to add a little class to a small space in your home, your office, I think a chair like this would be great. And it's 200 bucks, so it's pretty cheap. And it came very quick. I will put a link to this chair in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out! We can more and explore so much deeper.